Just this world here training. is brokenness. Yep. So out of the brokenness, there's like love, evil, you know, hate. Just like, like so, so what um, people usually do is they go get money, there's war, and then just go in church and saying they're good. But it wasn't all like this. So pretty much they just go back doing all this. But out of God's love, there was a world, there was love. It was perfect design. But ever since then, um, have you heard of Adam and Eve? Yep. Yep. So pretty much they came and fall. So what they did, did is a big S, which is sin, disobeyed God. Yep. Yeah. But God didn't want that. He didn't want them to go here to brokenness. He wanted them to go back here to love. So he brought his son, Jesus. He rose. Uh, he died and then he rose. He was dead. And if you repent, turn, um, believe, and be baptized in water and, um, and receive the Holy Spirit, and make Him your King, you turn into a new creation. Then you go here. Yeah. 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 So pretty much it's like um, 2 Corinthians. Apostle Paul wrote two Corinthians yeah. as well. Yes, much. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty much, uh, two Corinthians means uh, the old is gone and new has come. Yep. Yeah. And just want to ask you the questions. So where are you from these two circles? Which circle are you yeah. in, Paul? This one. You're in God's, you're in God's love. love. Well, I mean, yeah, whose love it is, I don't really know. Yeah, yeah. But that's where I am yeah. there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so it's just before you go. Know, um, this this is design here. We're, yeah. we're 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 all here today. Yeah. Unless if we repented and turned to Him and got baptized to His name. Yeah. And we're actually doing what Jesus called us to do. We're in here. I done that. I made that decision 15 years ago. Yeah. You probably want to be there, and you probably see yourself as there. Yeah. And most probably people that we talk with say, you know, that I'm there. Yeah. But really, Jesus says, unless you come to me, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So it's a bit rough. Yeah, but that's that's but that that's yeah. what he's he had to do that for Jesus yeah. to become cursed for us. Yeah, because okay. we broke the law, we broke God's commandments. So Jesus yeah. was sent to actually be the curse for us. Yeah, see? Okay. So he came to save us. Nothing yeah. that we can ever do to be saved to come in the kingdom of God. Save us from what? From fear, yeah. from false belief, yeah. from addictions, from uh, pain, spiritually, emotionally. Yeah. Uh, he came to save us from all that, but yeah. ultimately he came to save us and give us eternal life. Yeah, right. Wow! And yeah. so we're born from above, from a new kingdom. Yeah. And that's why we, we are here proclaiming the new kingdom, because the kingdom is actually of God. Yeah, and okay. then he wants to bring and restore us back into there, so yeah. we could go out and bring this kingdom with power and demonstration yeah, okay. of, his, of his will. I honestly believe yep. I do all that, yep. but I don't. I think I do it differently yep. Yep. than what you guys yep. do. But I think we're on the same page. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I, yep. I, I help people, yep. and if they get down or whatever, I pick them yep. back up. And it's, yeah, so they might maybe you have to do another circle. Yeah. I'll be in that one yeah. with the same, yep. same basic yep. way of life. Yep. Maybe I just. Yep. Look, well, God's purpose inside of us is image, yep. and we are image bearers of Christ. Um, so we we are doing already what the Father is wanting us to do. However.
through uh, through what Jesus has done. Okay. And then we have to proclaim that. It might not sound good all the time when we when we go because the word gospel is foolishness to those that are perishing when we preach this gospel. Yeah. But to those that are being saved, it's the power of God. And it's a very simple message. Yeah. A little, you have to be like a little child to get it to, to get this message. The word God says we cannot enter the kingdom of God unless we become little children. Most the adults that we talk with, um, they sort of been through life, they've been yeah. through the hard yards, and they're like, well, that doesn't sound something that offers for me because I know it. Yeah. Okay, when, you, when you say that, what, what you're really saying is like, um, I'm prideful, I'm in control of my life, I don't want anybody else to come into my life. I like to just do this life isolate, yeah. apart from God's plan. So really what God's saying is, you can do that, yeah. but you won't get far. Yeah, so really, really that's what God is yeah. wanting us to be baptized. Why do we yeah. be baptized? To wash away our sins. Yeah, I'm baptized. How old were you when you baptized? Young yeah. yeah. baby? Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's sprinkled as a baby and it's from yeah. Catholicism with 300 AD. Yeah. Constantine forced a religion. Yeah. But I've been baptized when I was 21. Dylan's been baptized in, in, uh, as adults because yeah. we don't know when we're babies we've got sin in our lives. Yeah. Yeah. So we have to bury the whole nature. We wash away our sins and we, we, we die in the, in, the, in the water baptism. Yeah. And then when we come out of the water, you get raised to life. Like Jesus was raised from the dead, he was yeah. buried in the tomb, yeah. but on the third day he rose again. We two get raised yeah. to a new yeah. life. Yeah. yeah right. And it's, it's from that point on, yeah. that's when your new life starts. Yeah, that's okay. when we're talking about a new creation. Yeah. So I was baptized. Saved or no, I don't believe. Um, I'm, I'm still, uh, I'm still searching for. Yeah. Uh, because really, ultimately, God doesn't want us to die in this state, yeah. in this state of separated from Him, because of what happened in the Garden of Eden. Yeah, if we yeah. die in that state, separated from God, yeah. we are totally separated from the Creator. Yeah. yeah. If we die in that state, so yeah. God loved us so much that He says, "He's my Son. He's going to become first for you." Would you? see that this forgiveness that I've, I've sent to everyone, the whole world knows, yeah. is for everyone available. And I didn't know that 50 years ago. Yeah, I just okay. walked around in my own self thinking I'm okay. Yeah. But when I was 30, 31 around there, yeah. um, I believed what, what happened there. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, man, I should have come earlier. You know, yeah, right, yeah. Because I would have had, I would have been a bit more ahead in Christ and yeah. see more people come to salvation. Yeah, okay. So um, I'll give you one short story about a testimony of a man that got baptized recently. Yeah. And he had tattoos all over his body. Uh, from, you know, he was covering tattoos, but he had this big um, um, Satan um, tattoo on his chest. Yeah. And he knew that when he was going to get water baptized, he was going to wear white. Maybe he had no idea he was going to wear white. And when he, got, when he was going to go to get baptized, three weeks before um, the priest was going to take him through water baptism, um, he was very shameful that he had this tattoo of Satan on, on his chest. And he went to, to Laser to try to get a price, how much it's going to cost him to remove this tattoo. Yeah. And he went everywhere to try to see how many get it done yeah. and he didn't have enough time to get it off the yeah. move. So he said this prayer, he said, God, yeah. will you take this, um, this tattoo of Satan off my chest when I get baptized and get born of the Spirit and get born? And he just prayed that prayer in faith. Well, on the day of baptism, yeah. they took him through the water. When he went down in the water, yeah, when, they, when he comes out, he, went, he died to his whole life. Yeah. And when he came out of the water, he became a brand new person. All the tattoos were on, on his body that was there but the one of Satan was literally removed off. There was nothing special about the water. There was no acid or anything. It was just that God answered his prayer. And that's powerful. Yeah, and, another, oh, God. Glory and, God. and another story, another uh, uh, man, he had a best friend. And he couldn't find his best friend for three years. This is a true story, and I know this person. And he went searching for his friend, and he, he went to a medium, because he just gave up of, of um, you know, looking for his friend. And he went to a medium. They told, you know, that the people of the dead, they can bring back the dead. And, and I don't suggest anybody go there. No, but, no, that's, that's but he went and he says this medium told him that your friend is dead. And he goes, I can't believe this. What do you mean? He says, well, he died on such and such date at this time. And he couldn't believe it. And he left that place very unrested and, and um, kind of really, you know, I don't believe this. So he went actually looking his own 
research. He went on Google and, and looked for all the different places where he thought like his friend. He followed up white pages where he where this name worked. And suddenly, three months later, he found the name of his friend and the address where he lived at. So then, what he did, he went to the place, knocked on the door, and um, guess what happens? The, the door opens and his friend comes out. And he goes, "Wow, you're alive! Um, I, I thought you were dead." And his, his friend goes, "Well." What do you mean I'm dead? I'm alive. He goes, well, I went to this person uh, and they told me you died at this date, uh, at this time. And how is it true that you're here? He goes, well, on that day, at that time, I got water baptized. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, 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 and so um, the, 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 spiritual, the spiritual powers of darkness did not have any hold on him once you come to new life. So the old man was gone and a new creation came. So Satan had no more power over death anymore because you're, you're brand new now. You're alive yeah. eternally. You don't have to die anymore. Yeah, okay. wow. so that's what God's placed inside of us, an eternal life. Yeah, okay. But we get to spend it with it with Christ, yeah. eternally, or eternally separated in hell, yeah. with, with, away from God. And God, God says that was not meant for man, for man a plan for man, yeah. meant to go to hell. And he said, I'm going to send my son Actually, okay. redeem you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, what do you think about that? Yeah, that's a yeah. full on story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got any questions for you? Yeah. <laughs> no, just, uh, yeah. So, the last question what was the last question? Is there anything, anything stopped you from coming here? Yeah. Yeah, and I've got to 50. Yeah. yeah, and I can call a barbecue on a Sunday, and all my family turns up. Yeah. That, that's me, that's about as special as it gets. Yeah, and all my sisters and brothers are all close, and yep. I've got heaps of good mates. Yep. So, you know, I'm willing to run the risk and keep doing what I'm doing, because like, so far it's worth it.